The stock market continues to see some better days as companies continue to please their shareholders, their investors by initiating mass layoffs early this year. Now, while this is good news for the stock market, investors, entrepreneurs, it's really bad news for working class Americans who are now out of a job. I mean, think about the families that have been impacted by this. Unemployment benefits will clearly not make up for the incomes that were lost. Do you feel as if there's any job out there that's safe from job cuts at this point? The World Economic Forum has finally admitted that they don't contribute to climate change, even though members continue to fly across the world on their private jets. Do you want to know why? Because they say it's vital for them to reach their destinations at a more rapid pace compared to other people, and that their goal is to spread the message of climate change. Hmm. Well, first of all, couldn't you have just like done a Zoom call, like a, you know, just a virtual meeting for this? Are they just trying to justify the fact that their actions and, and their lifestyle is actually more damaging to our climate and our environment, the air we breathe compared to us? Or is it that they're just so elite that they're just above the law. I wonder if the same thing could be said for normal folks like us. Do you guys think that this is fair for us down here on the bottom? Drop a quick comment yes or no down below on that one. Now before I begin, please take a second, smash the like button for the video. I really appreciate that. I know I'm going to be pushing a lot of buttons on this video so I could use a little bit of help with the algorithm. And if you're in need of your daily dose of the truth when it comes to the state of our economy, social security, SSI, SSDI, SNAP and EBT, global happenings, the housing market, Market, the stock market, and everything that's going on in Washington, D.C. that affects our lives, our families, and our bank accounts, be sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure your notification bell is turned on. Also, if you own a home, make sure your biggest investment is protected. Get your free home warranty quote. There's a link in the description down below. It only takes like 15 seconds and never be caught off guard by another very expensive, unexpected repair again. All right, guys, have you ever had such a good day that you just pinched yourself to see if you were dreaming? Okay, I probably never really did that. Well, maybe, maybe I did once. Anyway, years ago, a lot of you guys would have said yes. But given that our lives were being turned inside out, most of us are probably just going to be waking up from a nightmare at this point in time. Gas prices continue to put a hole in our wallets. While we've seen seniors on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and other forms of fixed income all just trying to apply for government subsidies like SNAP and EBT just to buy food, you got households building credit card debt as they tear down their own savings and retirement investment accounts. I mean, who's not terrified by all of this? But here's proof that people are waking up. 74% of Americans predict that the rate hikes will continue this year. And for good reason, the Fed has made it abundantly clear that they need to keep this going until the labor market retracts. There's just so many jobs available, right? Right? Now, I wonder how many of these jobs actually pay well, at least enough to keep a household going during this time, not some minimum wage jobs. Or are more Americans working more than one job? Because look at this, Boeing is cutting 2,000 jobs, impossible Foods is laying off 20% of their staff. How's that for a strong labor market? Top that off with companies closing stores down. You got Walmart shutting stores down. Bed Bath & Beyond, ticker symbol BBBY that's shutting down stores. This is obviously leading into more layoffs as well. But we all know why companies are doing this. Because they see the writing on the wall. They hear the recession bells and they're moving to overtake it. They're worried about self-preservation. And I understand. I get it. But how do you say that the job market is so strong when we're seeing stuff like this? The result for their shareholders is as expected. Although I really can't say the same for their workers. Look at this. Disney cut 7,000 jobs and slashed $5.5 billion of its costs. Even with their first loss of subscribers, this one around 2.4 million users leaving the platform, their stock still rose 6%. Amazing, huh? But that's how it works. The workers, aka the numbers for them, they're going to feel the real pain of the economy so much more now. It would be nice if they had a second job, something to fall back on, maybe an online business or a side hustle, an e-commerce store, but unfortunately, many of them didn't. Are they going to move back in with their parents? Will their car get repossessed? How are they going to pay for their credit card bills? How about their housing payments, mortgage payments, rent? Here's something that I really hope people understand. The worst person you can lie to is yourself. It's a fact. And as we continue to be flooded with optimism, be it in the stock market, the economy, the housing market, labor strength, it really doesn't matter. No matter how positive the news may be, there's something in life called reality. And the reality is that people are getting tired of lying to themselves, lying that they can afford 
afford that expensive coffee, that much needed family vacation, that dinner that they reserved months ahead, that car that they've been Googling for the past few years, trying to understand how they're going to afford these car payments. People are finally realizing that they have to face the truth. And the truth is that many of us are struggling and that we're probably going to continue to suffer unless you take action, of course. What about the strength of the US dollar? Many investors today are looking at gold as a great way to hedge against the strength of the US dollar. For the best way to invest in gold, feel free to hit the link in the description down below. But the real problem is that there's still some people who refuse to wake up, who refuse to live within their means. You guys know what I'm talking about. People who took out a car loan and are now paying like $1,000 a month, who got a house at these prices and have more rooms than they can sleep in, who continue to say that life is good, buying an expensive dinner every week. And of course, we all know that they can't help but post it all over their social media accounts, stunting on the gram, digging themselves further into credit card debt. But time's ticking and it's not going to be long until these people get the worst wake up call of their lives. Now, don't get me wrong. If you can afford this lifestyle, go ahead, live it up. YOLO, right? I'm not telling you not to enjoy your life when you actually have the means to pay for it. I'm saying if you don't have the means to pay for it, then it's a different story. What I'm talking about is the people who want to live this kind of life and they're most probably relying on debt, swiping their American Express cards just to afford it. Don't be that person. Don't do that to yourself and to your family because it's awful to lie, right? It's something we even tell our kids. And it's also something that the members of the World Economic Forum would never do. Much like the honesty of people like Bill Gates and John Kerry. But here's climate czar John Kerry talking about his decision to fly private back in 2019. It's the only choice for somebody like me. The time it takes me to get somewhere. I can't sail across the ocean. I have to fly to meet with people and get things done. But what I'm doing almost full time is working to win the battle of climate change. And you have to wonder, what choices do we have? It's not like every American has forty, fifty thousand dollars laying around to get an electric car, nor do we have the privilege to fly private jets and G5s like him. Did you guys know that private jets emit 10 times more carbon emissions than commercial? planes. Oh, the best part about that interview was that Kerry flew all the way to Iceland to receive an award. <laughs> what award you wondered? You guessed it, an environmental award. How ironic is that? What can top that? Well, billionaire Bill Gates certainly isn't going to be left behind when it collusion. Because we're the problem, right? The people at the bottom that fly economy are the problem. I mean, heck, we're technically carpooling if we're flying on a commercial airline. There's like 200 other passengers on board with us. The ones with the gas powered cars, right? bill but you, you you can't fly with us because you have to fly a, a private jet you can't be seen mingling with normal folks like us because to get to kenya there's no other way to fly but private i mean what can i say guys they truly do think that they are all much better than us and that we're part of the problem not the solution i say it's probably the other way around but again like i always do with all my videos let me know what you guys think do you agree with him are you indifferent hit me up in the comments down below but here's something i know we can agree on it is tough to make money these days there are a few of us taking on two and three jobs at once and not getting a whole heck of a lot of results, all to provide for our families. But were you guys aware that there are other ways to go about this, other ventures that we can focus our time on? If you guys want to learn more about investing in the stock market or real estate, creating multiple streams of income through side hustles or small businesses, or maybe you even want a proper guide for budgeting, perhaps you want to diversify away from the American dollar by investing in gold. By the way, hit the link in the description down below for the best way to invest in gold. But if you're interested in any of these things, feel free to also join us in the page Patreon community. There's a link in the description down below this video. The path to financial freedom is not easy, but it's also not impossible. But before I go, guys, don't forget to drop a thumbs up for the video. Also subscribe for your daily dose of the truth. Appreciate you guys watching. Please be kind to one another and I'll see you in the next one.